friends I need the anger Cause there's venom in my head I leave the enemy With more than nothing left And it gets stranger This isn't over yet I don't wanna see that white flag What's up guys, welcome back to the channel In today's video we're gonna be working on my black truck project and I have a customer project coming in later today. We're gonna to do some pretty cool stuff to it. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, comment down below, and tell us what you think. We've also been getting some work done on this thing. We got the drive shaft out, we got the transfer case out, and the tail housing off the transmission. Uh, fix what we needed to fix. Whether we fix it or not, I don't know, but it is working better, so I guess that's a plus. Got all that back together last night. And so we've just been doing some cleaning under the hood and trying to get this thing back on the road. And the race car hasn't been cranked in about a week and a half. And being on the E85 is kind of like alcohol. It's a little bit corrosive and I don't like to let it sit for too long without cranking it. So I'm about to get this bad boy fired up, let it run for a minute and circulate some fuel through. So I finally got transmission fluid for the black truck after a long search. This is a, this truck has an NV4500, which is the Dodge and some older Chevrolet applications, five speed. And it takes a very specific fluid. It is very hard to find and it is very expensive. This is what I ended up with. It is, with tax and everything, is $25 a quart. So I've got to pull the shifter back out and take the boot and everything back off. I didn't screw the boot down or anything. I'm not even sure why I put it back on to begin with since it's got to come back off. But you feel these things through the top of the shift tower. Um, some people say overfill it a quart and put six quarts in it. Some people say don't do that. I'm opting not to do that because that would have been an extra $25. The reason being behind these transmissions requiring a special fluid is these uh, NV4500s have brass and carbon fiber synchros. And if you put this kind of fluid in it, it'll tarnish the and corrode the brass yellow metals. But if you put that kind of fluid in it, it will damage the carbon fiber synchros. So... That's the reason behind the specific fluid. And this fluid states on the back that it specifically will not tarnish or corrode the yellow metals. They have rebuild kits for these transmissions that the, the, the new synchros and the rebuild kits you can get, they don't have brass and they don't have carbon fiber synchronizers. So therefore you can then, after you rebuild the transmission with that specific kit, then you can get run a lot more wide variety of fluids and get rid of having to use the expensive stuff well she's out of the way now we're just waiting on a boat seems to be shifting out of fifth gear a little bit better i can still feel it hanging just a little bit but i'm hoping once that oil gets uh, worked up on them gears better and everything gets good and lubed up inside there maybe it'll be a little bit better we'll take it on a test drive in a, in a couple of days or next week all right guys here we got a customer's boat so this is the second time i've had this boat in the past couple of weeks we're going to be installing deck lights it's going to look just like this except red white red i mean red on the back deck so this is quite a job these are what the lights look like it's just a little kind of a pod light these are Blue Water, Blue Water LED brand. They used, Blue Water LED used to be their own independent company and they were recently bought out by TH Marine. Very, very, very good products. I use them for all my lighting projects on boats, any marine application. Very solid, that's solid metal. And I put all of my boat lighting on dimmer switches. This is a very high quality, this thing is 50 bucks, just this dimmer switch. 
because these lights are extremely bright and you do not want them without a dimmer switch. So I'm gonna start getting these lights mounted up. I'm not gonna show you the whole process or nothing like that. It's, um, it's pretty boring. It's just gonna be drilling holes in the side of this $50,000 bass boat. But hey, it's all good. Got all the lights mounted. Three on each side across the front deck here. Everything's wired up all the way to the console, but it's not wired into the switch yet. Still got to mount the two on the rear deck, mount the dimmer switch, wired into power. This is the first Phoenix boat I've ever um, wired lights into. It's actually pretty easy to run wires through. Uh, see, I got this all out, wires running through here, tie into power here. I've got to pull this whole dash panel off because he wants the switch mounted right here. And the only way to get into this console is to pull this off because there's, there's no way to get into it up underneath there. So that should be fun. That'd be, I think it's gonna be the most difficult part. All right, so I've got this rat's nest of wires here, which will all be hidden. I've got the switch, everything wired up the way it's supposed to be. This will give it a test, see if they work. When this is all done, this is gonna be mounted right up behind here. And the only thing that'll be sticking out is the little knob. You won't see none of this. This goes through the dash. All these wires will be tucked into here, but I just wired it up to test it before I ran everything up in there. So see if we got some juice here. Oh yeah. Back deck lights are on. This is the dimmer. It'll actually turn them on and off too. All right, this thing is complete. We got two red on the back deck, red, white, red on both sides of the front deck. I wasn't able to mount the switch here because this behind this dash is like three inches thick and, and fiberglass. So I wasn't able to put it there, but we just put it right here next to his other switches he's got here. So well within reach. We also put these here, USB and a 12 volt outlet. That's handy. Guys, just gonna wrap up today's video. Don't really have a whole lot going on. Doing all we can to bring y'all some videos. We'll hopefully be back racing pretty soon, so stay tuned.